Hello everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Gaming. This is episode 39 of our Technic Let's Play. Hello Wolf. Hello, how are you? He kind of just walked in my door the other night and I trapped him in here so he's not getting out anytime soon. I might tame him eventually. So today we're going to be finishing up. Yes, I said finishing because we are going to finish it so we can actually get a move on on other things. We are going to finish the storage room. Well, the sorting machine anyways. Not the storage room because we're going to need a lot of chests for that and we don't have them. So... Actually, I do have a load of iron with me, and that's, uh, I used half a stack of it, and I shouldn't have, because I had a plan for today. Uh, I'll grab that. There we go. Two stacks of iron. I was planning on making 16 more iron chests, and I think I will do that. This wolf just loves jumping on top of these chests and, uh, watching me, what, watching what I'm doing, so I really want to tame him. I also want to get a horse. I determined how to get a horse, but I'm still working on the breeding part of it. Uh, still determining how to do that. Might look up a tutorial. I've just been teaching myself, really. Um, what else did I do off screen? I didn't. Don't think I did very much off screen, to be honest. Um, those are copper chests that I got from over there. I just picked them up since there's like nothing in them. Um, well, there is one thing that I want to show you guys today, and that is a couple new modules that we're going to be using in a new uh, chassis pipe or chassis pipe or whatever it's called. I'm gonna call it a chassis pipe probably because that's just been that's just what I started saying when I first got the mod and stuff, so that's probably what I'll call them. So sorry if it bothers you guys. As you can see in this project table I have the resources laid out to get some more blank modules. I'm just gonna get yeah, grab one of those. And we're also gonna go into this project table and put the blank module right there. I'm actually gonna grab another one. There we go. Hello Mr. Wolf and put that there. And that will make us the extractor module. We're gonna make two of them. There we go. And what we have to do now is actually make two gear. Wait, we already have some iron gears on us. Uh, we need eight gold. I'll just do it here. There we go. And we're gonna make some gold gears and then we're gonna put the gold gears right there and the extractor, mo extra uh, the extractor modules right there. Um, should I demonstrate what the Mark 1s do? This is like a Mark 2 module. Um, just an advanced version of that. I'll just explain what this one does later on when I actually get to do using this one. It's just an upgraded version. It's faster and just better. Um, also, we're going to make another module, and that is the... What's it called? Uh, the Quick Sort module. There it is. We need a diamond gear instead of an iron one. Ouch. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and make that recipe up again. Need some more lapis. Four of it. Four. Three of you. Mm, what else did I need? Uh, blank module. Okay. I'll grab one from that. And a diamond gear. Alright. That's not too bad. We have plenty of diamonds. Plenty and plenty of diamonds. Very nice to have those. But... I'm glad I got them nice and quick so I don't have to go through with making you guys watch me get them again for the second time. Oops. There we go. Diamond gear. So let's put this together. Pretty simple. Pretty much the exact same thing as the other extractor module we made there, but it's a diamond gear instead of an iron one. That'll give us the quick sort module. That's the best module you can get, pretty much. They all have different functions, so this one's the best for uh, extracting items from chests. But there's reason a reason we have the quick sort and the extractor module, and I'll explain what that reason is here in a bit. But uh, what we're gonna do now is actually make a couple more chassis pipes or chassis pipes, and uh, to do so we need these things right here and a bit of iron. No, no redstone. I think it's redstone. I guess it is now. <laughs> um, 8, 16. Yeah, we need three of them, so let's get 24. There we go. And let's... Okay, not on that one. Might as well just go here. Oops. Failure. There we go. And you there. There we go. Three Mark I logistics uh, chassis pipes. Cool. And we're going to need some more logistics, or basic logistics pipes here soon, but oh well, that's good enough. Three chassis pipes for these three modules. And also we're probably going to get, uh, hmm, I still haven't determined how that room is going to look and work out. 
I'm thinking about making the whole thing one wider. Just uh, for reasons I'll explain here in a minute. Like the entire thing, even the upstairs building as well. Go away, Flame Wraith. Don't want you here. There's a lot of animals. Oh, goodness. A shark and a dolphin are fighting. Who will win? Battle of the Ages, my friends. Goodness, it's battleground out there, and the dolphin kicked butt. No surprise there. But yes, I want to push this, this wall out and that wall out. And even come down here, push all this wall back one. Actually, the opposite side, sorry. Push everything that side, or to that way one. I'll kill this dude. Die, thank you. And uh, kill these guys. Still didn't bring any torches with me, of course, but that's okay. As long as you guys can see, who cares? Um, right, so my problem here now is that I have a, uh, I want a large, like a bigger chest than a larger chest. Probably like a, uh, maybe even an ender chest right there, or even right there. And it's not centered, and it's really bothering me. So, uh, it's either I use a regular old wooden large chest, or I use a, uh, or I just push the wall back, and I think I might just use a large chest. Now that I really think of it, it's too much hassle just pushing that to the side one. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's just make a normal wooden large chest. Oh, goodness. Don't want those things to go red. I actually don't think they do blow up. I mean, it would take a while if they actually did. But they go faster when they're red. That's a bonus, I guess. <laughs> so, up we go. And over we go. So what we're going to grab now is just a bit of wood since we didn't bring any with us. We're going to get a large chest. That way it's symmetrical, I guess. Too bad you can't make large like copper chests or iron chests. I need to put this freaking pressure plate back. The only reason I took it out so this wolf didn't get out. Yeah. So we need large chest to get some wood. Four of it. We'll do just fine. And whoa, whoa, whoa. And there we go. Cool. Chest. Well, two. And uh, I think we have all the logistics pipes we need at the moment. At least to demonstrate how this works, and then I can, like I said uh, earlier, do it off screen. Um, I also did put the rest of the items in these chassis pipes here. So all of these ones have their appropriate item in the. Uh, item sync modules like this one's the dust one I put all the dusts in etc etc so let's go ahead and place this one right here and get rid of that as well as this because we don't need it not with what we're doing so I don't think we even need that either actually so what we're gonna do is place our chassis pipes one right there and one right there if you have haven't noticed there's a little orange mark there and if you hit this while shift clicking with a wrench it'll change where the orange mark goes if there's another chest mm -hmm. around so uh, the orange mark always points at the chest or the inventory that it's next to so that's cool um, okay so that's two chassis pipes for the extractors and then we're gonna make one right here I know it's not in the center but we won't be able to see this anyway so it doesn't really matter and uh, this will be the quick sort one this one doesn't have an interface. I'll explain what it does when I actually get some uh, pipes going here. Extractor Mark II there, and Extractor Mark II there. So, the extractors do have an interface here, and as you can see, you can choose whether or not you want to extract from the top of the chest, side, or the bottom. That's really useful for ex extracting from, say, macerators or furnaces or something. You can extract from the side to get the finished product, like the dusts that come out of the macerator. You can extract from the top to get the, uh, I think it's the, I think the top, yeah, the top is where you put the stuff to uh, get macerated, but you wouldn't want to extract from that. But I think you understand my point. Default uh, default extracts from just, uh, say if it's a chest, it'll go right default. Um, I'm not really sure what default would do with a macerator, but it's a future test, I guess, I suppose. Um, we don't have any other pipes, so let's use a logistics pipe. Why not? I know we're kind of uh, wasting, but you know what? We should probably actually go get some different pipes. Yeah, let's do that. Is there anything in here? Oops. Nope, just uh, pneumatic tubes. Not what we want. So I'm going to go get some pipes, so hold on a second. Okay, there's some cobblestone transport pipes. 
And we got another party going on. Ow. Come on now. Ow. Thank you. Okay, so, back where we were. Cobblestone pipe right there. And there, and there. Mm, will that do? Yes, it will. I think. Or should we bring it down there? Since it is a uh, basic logistics pipe, we can do that. One thing you want to do if you're having, a, if you have a logistics network, you want to put lo basic logistics pipe on every uh, intersection of pipe. So if you don't have a basic logistics pipe on your intersection, it will not work. So keep that in mind if you decide to play Technic, which I advise you should do because it's pretty awesome. Um, I think that'll work. The floor will be on this level right here. Yeah, that'll look nice and work good. So, the extractor or extractor modules, uh, what they do is every second the Mark II ones will pull a stack out of items. Uh, I think a stack. A stack of items? I could be wrong. No, I think it's one item. Like, if you have a stack of cobble or even a stack of dirt, it's going to take one item out at a time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I could just demonstrate it. And there we go. Now it's going to go through the pipes, slow down eventually, of course. And now this stuff, since it's dirt, it has a default route. It's going to go all the way down to the dirt chest. Right there. So, automatic storage, or automatic sorting. So, I can store a lot of items in here. Like, I can put my iron in there and it'll automatically go there. I'm going to put that there, that... Oh, wait, I didn't do that, did I? I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay, so... Quick sort. What doesn't quick sort do? Quick sort basically takes everything that has a default route. Say uh, with dust, if I missed a dust, if I didn't have, say, oh, I missed coal dust, for instance. If I put coal dust in here, it's actually going to be extracted by the uh, extractor modules, and the uh, quick sort one will not uh, take it out. It has to have a route, and it has to have a place to go. So if you have a chest with a default route, I think that will count. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I guess we can test that out. And the quick sort actually works much faster than these extractors. These extractors aren't... Uh, the only reason we have them is for items that we won't know where to... Or where our system won't know where to put them. So if we have a uh, item that we haven't in, implemented... Uh, what's that word? Um, um, implemented? Yeah. Implemented into our system. It'll just go to a... I guess we'll make a like a overflow chest of some sort, or maybe even an unknown or a miscellaneous check chest, and that's where the uh, quicks or the extractor modules will put those items. So uh, yeah, the quick sort one every five seconds takes everything out of the chest pretty much. It goes like a stack, 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 continuing on and uh, until the chest is empty, and it does that every five seconds. So it's a very fast much faster than these things. That's the reason we have this uh, quick sort thing. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty much done on this side. We have to add the floor, which I'm going to have to add some sort of staircase, which I'll make this into a staircase right here. Might as well, since it's already kind of here, you know. Might make a ladder or something, but... Anyways, um, I think I'm going to work on this a little bit off screen and come back and show you guys what I did, since you guys understand the basics of it. If I have, to, if I have something else to show you guys, I will pop in and show you. But uh, other than that, I think I'm going to go get those chests. I might make them make them now, actually. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go make 16 more iron chests. That way we can uh, sort even more items, but that will mean we have to get more logistics pipes. More basic chassis pipes, or Mark 1 ones. And also get uh, more modules. So, lots of work there. Although, uh, it's kind of worth it, I'd say. You know, might as well tame this wolf now. Bones. Come here, boy. Come here. There we go. I got a wolf. Awesome. Got a companion. No longer forever alone. How wonderful. But you can't keep up with me. Haha. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be teleporting a lot. I know it. So it's getting dark out. I'm just gonna chill in here for a while, do some crafting. Should probably torch this place up a bit. It's kind of dark in here. That's okay. We won't be living here long. I don't think uh, we might be moving another time. And I just realized today that we actually have the Mistcraft mod installed, and that adds a whole bunch of uh, dimension play to the game. So you can actually like make your own dimensions, and it's 
absolutely insane, and you can actually get stuck in the dimensions and never ever come back. Like, there's no way to come back sometimes. So, you gotta be really, really careful with playing with that mod, otherwise you're gonna have to start over completely. Um, we do have some saddles, don't we? Somewhere's around here. There's one. Alright, let's make that into a horse saddle. You can just put it in the crafting square with iron underneath it. There's a horse saddle. So that's pretty cool. And what you can do is actually put it on a horse, and then you can actually train the horse. Get out of here. Get him, boy. Get him. Good boy. Get out of here. Come on. In the house. In the house. Get in the house, you. Thank you. Good boy. Yeah, like I was saying, you can actually uh, train a horse and uh, use it, but it's not really uh, necessary for me when it comes to transportation. I'm faster than a horse anyways, so it's just cool to have them. We'll look into that later so we can keep this horse saddle for later. Kablam. So, to get started on those chests that we are going to make, we have to get a stack of wood. Two stacks of wood, actually. And we're going to make a couple chests. Let's actually just use it project table here. Oops. There we go. 16 chests. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it all into iron chests. There's eight. There's some zombies outside. They're probably going to bust down my door. Or try to anyways. There we go. 16 iron chests. I called it. Nasty out there, man. Nasty. Um, I think we're good. Go. Leave that horse alone. Goodness. Uh, 16. That'll fill up the other side. I think we'll start on the other side for now. And uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to start crafting up these modules. So get me a, give me a second to get all the resources ready. Hold on. Alright guys, I have the resources we need for the uh, modules themselves. So let's make the gears now. Wooden gears, cobblestone, oops, and then the iron, oops. What am I doing? <laughs> Oopsies. There we go. 16 iron gears. Let's put those on top. Cactus green around the sides like so. Mm. There we go. And the modules in the center, I just grabbed them from that project table there. There we go. 16 more item sync modules. I realized that I did miss a couple of the uh, other chests out there, so it's not too bad, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. Hello, horsey. Hello. Hello, animals. Creatures of the night. And such. Down we go. And what are we doing now? Okay, so we have to find a place to put these chests. Um, still deciding whether or not I want to put them over there or on that side. I think I want to put them on this side over here, though. So that level here. And place them all the way across. Oops. There we go. So that's the iron chests on that side. We're going to have to make some signs, but I'll get to that later. Uh, for now, we're going to make the chassis pipes. I forgot about those. Oopsies. Um, I kind of want to figure out what ones I didn't put these in. Food? I put item sink, but I didn't actually put the food in. Put I uh, rotten flesh in, but that's it. It's probably the only food we have at the moment. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Are these Mark II ones? What? I'm so confused right now. Did I actually make Mark II on all of them? I think I did. I don't even remember doing that. Strange memory. Um, okay, well that's good. Uh, we can actually add providers onto those ones. And I'll explain what those do later. Once we get into uh, teleport pipes and stuff. Melons are ready to harvest. I'll get those eventually. Hello, boy. You need a name, don't you? I'll think of a name eventually. Maybe like Buster or something. Um, okay, so we need logistics pipes more logistics pipes. We need to make them, so we need two golden gears. Let's get those now. Uh, not too hard. Since we already have iron gears right here, I think. Here? Here they are. Cool. Let's make them in here. Oops. 
There we go, two golden gears, and next up we need the diamond pipes for glass. I think four will do. Yeah, let's get the four glass. Two redstone torches. I already have some. Um, and what else? Yeah, right. Diamond, diamond, diamond pipes. There we go. Diamond pipe there. Gold gear, gold gear, redstone torches, and glass. Voila! More basic logistics pipes. We're actually going to need even more than that. Okay. So let's get some of this. Uh, a little bit of iron, if we have any. There's some. I'm gonna have an interruption to give me one second. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, the iron's finished while I was waiting. And then we're gonna smelt that up. All of it, might as well. That's actually the last of the iron I have, I believe. I don't know, there's a bit there, but not too much. We're gonna have to go mining again, or at least, uh, find some iron. That would be nice. Um... We can even transmute some, but... Alright, iron ingots, we need some iron gears. We already have one. Do I not? I do indeed. Okay, so I only need one iron gear. Let's go get some wood. That's enough. There we go. One wooden gear. Uh, we need the cobblestone. Cobblestone. There's some. Four cobblestone. So many gears. Oops. Eventually, you guys, we will have all of this system, like, of crafting stone gears and iron gears and golden gears and stuff. All of it will be automated. Completely and utterly automated, thanks to the magic of logistics pipes. And there we go. I believe the creator's name of logistics pipes is Craft, I think his username is. Either way, the dude's a genius. So go over to the thread and give him a, a big hug virtual hug so all right gold gears we need a diamond pipe uh, glass do we have glass do i have any glass there's some four glass is all we need two of those and that's enough there we go diamond pipe golden gears redstone torches glass basic logistics pipes. We have 20 of them now. Sweet. So what we have to do now is actually surround those with iron. Actually, wait. Let's use iron. Er, yeah, iron. I was going to do redstone, but uh, since we already have the other ones set to... Oh, balls. Um, since the other ones are uh, tier 2 or mark 2 chassis pipes, we might as well make these ones tier 2 as well. So to do so, we need two stacks of iron. Oh man, this is brutal. I don't even have enough iron. It's outside my door. It's a rat. Okay. Um, let's grab some diamonds here. And transmute them. Right down to iron. Can't do that? Okay. Um, come on now. Oh well. I have iron in my inventory. There we go. Two stacks exactly. See? Alright. Um, to do that now, might as well do this. There we go. And the basic logistics pipes gives us the logistic chassis mark 2. 16 of them, that's enough for now. I think that's all we're going to need in total. Unless we just never discover any other things that we need them for. And uh, I think I already showed you guys between the difference between the mark 2, mark 1, mark 3. Oh goodness, a wraith. They scare me sometimes, man. These guys are really scary. But they drop gunpowder. And uh, they don't do too much damage. The flame wraiths are the ones you have to watch out for. So anyways, yes. So let's go ahead and place these chassis pipes here. I'm going to call them a different name like every time. You just watch. Oopsies. Not there. And voila. Awesome. So they're all green. Indicating that they all are, are all communicating with each other. And now what we have to do is just mimic the other side. Pretty much. Almost exactly. There we go. And then we go. Uh, we actually have to add the signs onto this side and uh, indicate what's going to be going there. We might uh, cut these things down to be more a little, a little more specific, or we might get into the mods, uh, mod items and whatnot. 
to add uh, like farm craft items and build craft pipes and stuff that would probably be a good idea um, we can do so fairly easy with item sync modules we might do that now actually so I might be playing around with this for a little while so I'm gonna do it off screen here and uh, I have to go get some signs so I can actually uh, indicate what these things are for all these different uh, all these different pipes did I already get that one? No, I didn't. Alright, so I'll meet you guys back once I have something to update you guys on. So I'll see you then. Okay, here is a quick update on what I want to craft here. I want to craft a new chest, and it's one of the best ones you can get. And I'm in cheat mode because I was in the test world there. There we go. That's better. And I was looking up the recipe for it, but it doesn't actually have a recipe, so that's why I had to go to the test world and figure out how to craft it. That was fun. Um, so I actually need two diamonds total. I need eight gold, and that's all I need, I think. I think that's it. All right, so let's go to the crafting square, Oops. and let's make a iron chest. Nothing new there. Then let's put that iron chest in the middle and surround it with gold. That'll get up, give us the gold chest, and I'll show you guys how big the inventory is on it. There's an iron chest six high. It's pretty much the exact same size as a large chest and this one is much bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, we're not done there. So what we're gonna do is actually get six glass. If we had some it would be nice. Okay. I guess we don't have any. Let's grab some cobblestone then. Go over the macerator. Macerate that down to sand. And then turn it into glass. There we go. Okay, so with this glass, let's put it in the crafting table like that. Diamonds right there, and the gold chest right there. Remember, the gold chest was 9x9, nine nine, so diamond chest. Oh yeah, much better looking, as you can tell, and a huge inventory. 9x12, huge inventory. And uh, what we're going to use this one for is actually the miscellaneous junk chests. So basically the chest that uh, if our sorting system doesn't know where to put it, it'll put it in this one. So that's what's going to go down for that. I do have an item sync module as well as a... Uh, I think I have some pipes downstairs, do I not? Maybe I have some up here. Hello? Any chassis pipe? Chassis pipes whatsoever? Maybe not. Okay. I guess I'll just craft one of those and then I'll meet you guys downstairs. Okay, so we're here down in the storage room here. As you can see, I did place a bunch of signs for all the different mods that we are going to need chests for. Um, so that's good for that. And what we're going to do now is way down at the end here is get rid of this iron chest here. And we didn't actually need this chassis pipe, but I made one anyway, so whatever. And we're going to put down the diamond chest. And right here is going to be the miscellaneous junk chest. Let's just type that in. Misc junk. There we go. Alright, and what we're going to do now is actually go down here and right click our chassis pipe mark 2 with the wrench and uh, click on this item sync module exclamation mark and set the default root yes. So that means it's the default root for the entire system and everything that doesn't have a, uh, a waypoint or a place to go will go right to that diamond chest. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. None of these have any use whatsoever yet. But uh, I'll get into what I'll put those. Well, put, I'll put the, the. I'll get into what I'm going to put in those later. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet, to be honest. So now what I'm going to do is actually add the floor finally. So I don't really know if I'm going to do anything fancy. Probably just regular smooth stone for now, and I might change it up later. So I'm going to go grab some cobblestone. Hold on. Okay, so I have the cobblestone now, and I'm just going to go ahead and place all the cobblestone along the floor like this, and then I'll transmute it into regular smooth stone. And I'm just going to use this as a door up here since I can easily jump from uh, there to there. So I'll be right back when this floor is finished. Okay, so the floor is all placed and I realized that I have cobblestone right here and I had to go up to the house and get some. Smart me. Anyways, yes, yeah, so let's grab our Philosopher's Stone here, charge it up all the way, and transmute all of this into stone. Nice. Alright, so it's really dark downstairs, so I'm going to go back to the house and get some torches, unless I have some coal here, which I doubt I do. Where would it be? 
Do I have a fuel chest? I should probably have a fuel chest, shouldn't I? Okay, um... Yep, let's make a fuel chest right here. Right, so... Fuel. Oops. Voila. Nothing in there, and I'll check that chassis pipes. Chassis pipe from here. And there's not even an item sync module in there. Okay, so let's put that in there anyways. There we go. Okay, so the pretty much this place is almost completely done. Um, except for, of course, organizing where the chests are, or organizing all the sorting aspects of the chests. What I'm going to do now is actually set up a teleport pipe. Um, I tried doing this in the first world when I was trying to move all of my items from the, uh, from the wooden house to the basalt house, but it didn't work out too well. Uh, after I grab some torches, I'll explain how I'm going to do this, so hold on. Alright guys, before I go down back into the, or uh, back down into the proper grammar, uh, into the storage room, I'm going to make a new item here, and that is, well, not wooden gears, do not worry. I'm just going to make a couple uh, stone gears here, and with these stone gears, I'm going to make uh, a new item that we haven't made yet, I don't think. I don't think we made them, made one in the other world at all either. But uh, piston there and glass there. That is a steam engine. Awesome. And I just gathered a couple, a bit more rubber there, and I'm going to make a couple items here. Uh, refined iron, redstone electronic circuit, and then an RE battery. Kablam. And with these three items here, we're going to put that there, that there, and this right there, and we get ourselves a slow electrical engine. So this works much better for transporting items than the other electrical engine we tried using in the other world. So I'll demonstrate that once we make some teleport pipes. And I think we've already made them in the other world, so it's nothing new, but just to refresh your guys' memory and mine about the recipe, item teleport pipe is shaped or crafted like that. So it takes eight diamonds, well, ten total if you include the amount of EMC gold costs, and one piece of glass, which we don't even have. So let's grab that, macerate it. There we go, there's the glass, and grab some diamonds. Eight diamonds, eight gold, uh, eight iron, eight cobblestone, shut up cat, and you, yes, and one piece of wood. So let's just do it in this crafting square, sticks, Regular old gears, guys. Nothing special here. Um, do the stone gears. If I click properly, it'd be nice. Iron gears. Oops. Gold gears. And last but not least, diamond gears. Voila. And then, of course, the glass. Boom. Eight teleport pipes. More than enough. We only need one. Or actually, sorry, two. So... There we go, put that there. And now what we're gonna get is some wooden transport pipes, which we have some right here. And now, actually we're gonna get that, because it has to be closer. Much, much closer. So now what we're gonna do is grab this wooden transport pipe, put it right there. And actually, how are we going to do this? I think we have to move one of the solar panels, which isn't a big deal. We can just use the low voltage one and actually turn off both of these items here. That's not a big deal whatsoever. So let's go grab that thing. And where's it? Just low voltage right here. Alright. So medium voltage still powering our items here. And now what we can do is where are we going to put it? could use it outside, I suppose. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, where's my solar panel? There it is. Go. There it is. Uh, place it right here. And we need some wires, which isn't a big, that, and that big of a deal. Do we have any rubber available to us? I got kind of destroyed by an ogre one night. I don't know if I recorded that or not, but didn't destroy the rubber deposit, which is good. Um, I need Cables. Maybe I could just use the ones from over there. That wouldn't be too bad, but you know, there's only one. 
You know what? One is better than none. <laughs> so, one cable. Let's actually just break through the wall right here. We really need to get a good supply of rubber going. We really do. Mm, better spot right here, actually. There we go. Um, you know what? We didn't even need this wire. Let's go put that back. Just thought of an easier way of doing this. Okay, so let's put our wooden transport pipe right there. Let's put our engine right there. As you can see, it's always green. It will not overheat, from what I know, at all. And it will not explode, so that's perfect. Although it does take a good amount of energy, so... Low voltage solar array after we place... Um, don't have any pipes. You know what? Fine. This is temporary anyways, so... Oops. Let's open this. Whoa! Hello! You can add a name to it. Huh! That's sweet. And temp... Oops. Temp... One. Okay. Receive... False. Yeah, that's true. Okay. This is neat. I didn't know about this at all. Set. Gonna have an interruption here, so give me one second. Well, right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this frequency one. Um, again, temp one. Oops. And add. Okay. I don't really know what this does. I guess you can just name it. I don't know what this thing is here. Really have no idea to be honest. But let's go ahead and head over here into our storage room. hole. And where am I going? Downstairs. That's where. Not used to there being a floor there. Oh, right. I forgot it's dark down here. Forgot the torches again. Grr. That's okay. Um, let's get a bunch of these copper chests going, as well as this iron chest as well. Might as well. There we go. Um... What I'm going to make now is actually called a distribution pipe, and it'll help us with what we're doing here. I don't have my ring in my inventory, or my hopper, really. Alright. Uh, also, we'll set the teleport pipe down here, so we don't have to later. Oops. Goodness. Frequency 1, temp 1. Alright. Okay, so it actually recognizes the name. If you're not on it, you can just click it, I guess? Ha! Huh. That's cool. I like that. Okay, up we go. And now what we're gonna do is grab another kind of pipe, and it's called oh, goodness, it scared me. Called a distribution pipe, and what it does is obviously distributes between uh, a couple different pipes. I'll explain it when I actually have it. I need dime or uh, iron pipes, I believe. Two pieces of iron, one piece of cobblestone. And one piece of redstone. There we go. And that'll take forever. I forgot about that. You know what? This medium voltage solar array is more than enough to power these things. So what am I doing? Grr. Okay. Definitely. Come on now. So what this distribution pipe does is, say if it had three pipes connected to it that were out, like outputs, uh, it'll go, uh, you can set it so a certain amount of items will go down one pipe, next couple items will go down the next pipe, and so on. It'll be easier to explain when I actually have it, but this won't take too long. Wow, it's actually pretty fast for a 0% heat furnace. Well, 7 I guess, but still. There's glass, okay, cool. And let's go in here, glass, iron, redstone. There it is, distribution transport pipe. Um, I'll explain it down there, I guess. I just need some cobblestone. Tra stone transport pipes are fine, actually. There we go. And I might sleep through the night so nothing gets blown up out here. That would kind of suck. I'm actually going to set that there. And temp one. And I have to set the other one to can, can receive true before I do anything. Got to harvest those sugar cane, too. Holy smokes, I forgot to check the time of the video. Today's episode's probably so long. Oh, damn it. 
Not any better down here. Almost the exact same. Two spiders and a zombie. Okay. But yeah, I have to check the time on today's video. It's probably like an hour and a half long. <laughs> so give me one second, guys. Hold on. We're at about 40 minutes. That's actually not too, too bad. We're going to go for another about five minutes or so just so we can get this sorted out. We want to finish this sorting system today. The system is fairly finished. It's uh, definitely a work in progress, and it's going to be for a long time until we get like a load of iron chests, and we don't have the iron for it right now. So anyways, enough rambling. Let's get to this. Let's set this to can receive true. There we go. Um, what was I doing? Right, distribution pipe. So the way this works is I'm just going to place it right... I'm just going to elevate it one. There we go. And I'm going to move this teleport pipe, actually, to right there. I should probably light this place up a bit. Nah. That's annoying. I'm sure you guys can see. I'm going to check my brightness, actually. Okay, it's on bright. Cool. I'm sure you guys can see decently fine, but I'm sorry about the darkness. Anyways, uh, so there's four, or actually, sorry, five available sides, as you can see, and they all have a different color. So right now I'm just going to demonstrate with the green and the yellow. Yeah, the green and the yellow sides. So if I set these to go to a chest over here, and I right-click this pipe here with any tool, it doesn't matter, you can see there's a bunch of uh, colors along with numbers. So uh, since there's only the green and the yellow pipe, I'm going to set everything except for the green and the yellow to zero. So that makes it so if I were to set this to two, two things would go down the green pipe, one thing would go down the yellow pipe. Two things down the green, one thing to yellow. If I set this to one, oh, sorry. There we go. It would be a one to one ratio. One each way, distributing them through the pipes. It's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty much with the name. Um, so not much explana explanation needed, I suppose. Um, hmm, how's this going to work out? Okay, let's put this a little closer. Let's put the whole system closer, actually. That's so why we can actually uh, do it without going back to the house. There we go. And I need to connect a distribution pipe. go. Mm, set it to the top, I suppose. Ah, oh, crap. Um, hmm, what is unnecessary here? Maybe we should put it one closer. Ah, sorry about the delays, guys. I'm just trying to get this over with. Well, not really over with, I'm just running time out of time, so, you know. Put it right here. Wait, up one actually. There, there. Wait, no. That won't work, I don't think. Hmm. It might work. It might. Put that there. That there. That won't work, though. Alright, then let's just go underground. Running out of pipes. Damn it. That's unnecessary. Uh, wait, no, it isn't. Oh, dear. I'll go get some more pipes. Hold on. Okay, so I got pipes, and they are actually different kinds of pipes, so this problem won't happen. And this uh, huge mess of pipes will not will not uh, appear, of course. So let's get all these pipes out of here. Make this look much better. Can actually, just place it flat on the ground. And teleport pipe. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, cool. Uh, stone pipe going to this chest. And the cobblestone pipes going from that one. That will do. Uh, stone from this one. And cobblestone would have to come around. So, around from this one. There we go. So, let's go ahead and set everything to one. 
except for uh, except for red and light blue. Come on now, let me click it. Can't click the distribution pipe. There we go. Okay, everything red and light blue. And everything else will have a one on it. And I think there's only four. One, two, three, four. Yes, indeed. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is actually set this to true, temp one. And now what we can do is uh, completely go ahead and start up that engine that's back at the house. I'll meet you guys there. I actually just killed a fire ogre, and he dropped fire. That's kind of weird. It's cool, though. I think you can make chain armor. Get out of my farm. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think you can make chainmail armor with that. It's pretty neat. Werewolf. There you go. Um, so, yeah, we can actually get started on pumping this stuff back. Um, we're gonna have to keep on. What the world happened there? We're gonna have to keep on switching what pipe it, or what chest it's going to, or at least putting items into this chest itself. But I'm actually gonna have to also uh, add some item sink pipes onto the other chests down there, just so these floral items will go into the right chests. Because I didn't set the floral one. I'm gonna go do that now, actually. Mm, yeah, I'll go there too. And bone meal. Sure, why not? And I think that's all the floral that I'll have. I suppose that's good enough. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back at that uh, at that pump. Hold on, I'm gonna go fix this pipe up. What the hell is that? What the frig is that? It's like a dragon horse. What in the name of hell is that thing? What? Does it do damage to me? Ow! Yes, it does. Okay. I will not go near you. I'm sorry I offended you. Damn, that thing's awesome. I wish I could drive it. I mean, <laughs> drive it. I mean, fly it or ride it. Whatever you want to call it. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah, screw it. I'll kill him. Let's see what he drops anyways. Leather. Woo. That was weird. Okay. I still haven't fixed up the pipe. I just kind of got sidetracked with that weird-ass flying horse with demon wings. So, I'll meet you guys back there. Hold on. Alright, guys. So, I think everything is set up appropriately. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Come here. There we go. That's better. So, I think everything's set up uh, correctly now. So, what we're going to do is actually get a, uh, another hole in the wall here, just so I can place the torch. I could probably place it somewhere else, but that's okay. Cool little design on the back of the thing. <laughs> uh, where's my solar panel? There it is. Place the solar panel right there can't see past this rabbit. There we go. And is it moving? No? Okay, cool. So it does need a redstone turn, uh, redstone current. There we go. Activate it, and that'll start pumping. And what it does is it pumps, I think, uh... Okay, cat, go away, dude. Are you trying to get my bunny rabbit? Really? Here you go. Have him. It's all yours, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I think it pumps out, like, 42 items per stack or something. Let's just see here. 40, 46, I think? I don't know. 42, 46, something like that. Either way, it pumps a lot of items out. Why does that dirt look so big? That's strange. So, everything should be going through to those pipes there. And once that chest is emptied, I'm assuming that it, uh, we'll have to add a couple more chests down here just because there's like six full iron chests and there's only a couple. There's one iron chest and four copper ones here, so probably won't be able to see very much. So as you can see, it's distributing evenly amongst the chests. Which is pretty cool. It's going fairly slow, but that's okay. That's okay. Is anything going backwards? Is everything okay? I believe everything is fine and dandy, my friends. That is great news. All these weak tools we can just get rid of. We don't need them at all. Just turn them into EMC or something. So, uh, what I'm going to do is actually go possibly make a couple more iron chests. Wait, I have a bunch of iron chests in here that I'm not even using. Or up here, rather. A bunch of iron chests that are not being used, so I might as well just use them. <laughs> Why not? There we go. That's enough. And what I'm going to do is... Take one of these distribution pipes, probably the one underneath, I suppose, is uh, good enough. Gotta use regular stone pipes, I believe. 
Now we can use cobblestone. It's okay. Just to go one lower. No biggie. Mm, oh, wow. We're running out of pipes. I'll have to go grab some more. But what I'm going to do is set this around here. And up a bit. Actually, over. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I know I'm making a mess of the place here, but it's just to get all of the items down here in a neat, cool-looking fashion, I suppose. I know I could probably just carry them with my inventory, but who cares? So everything looks like it's coming through nice and fine. How are the chests doing? Pretty good so far. And that's only one chest, remember, so we have to get a couple more going here. That's what I'm doing. So distribution pipe should go right there. And I can actually just add the chests on right to it. So let's do that. If we can find a spot to place it. There we go. There. There. And there, I suppose. Wait, we can't. Okay. Eh, just on the top, I suppose, is fine. That'll do. Uh, I'm trying to find out a way to get this to go on top. There we go. There we go. Now what we have to do is set this one so it'll... Uh, Oh, look at that. The chest is fully emptied. Uh, I might do the rest of this off screen. I don't really know because it's not very fun. All I have to do is get all the items down to this room and then I can set them through the uh, item uh, sorter thing. I could have just done that to begin with, but no. <laughs> I have to get everything organized and then we can actually get started on some cool builds and uh, actually really get started on this world. We can get some build craft oil and make build craft rooms and stuff. It's uh, It'll be crazy. I can't wait. So this episode's running way too long. I'll do the rest of this off screen and show you guys what I come up with at the end. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.